Ray Ray. Ray. El Rey del Roma a la Puerta Soma. I uh, gotta settle up. We had three espressos, two of these delicious scones, and um, one glass of water. Water's free. Oh, that's a very generous policy. Hey, Ray, let me ask you something, man. Are we solid? Excuse me? Are you and I solid, and are we simpatico? Because sometimes I get the sense that there's some tension or like a bad line, not really between us, but like specifically from you to me. Well, I really wouldn't worry about it if I were you. OK, but you know what? I do worry about those kinds of things, because I'm exactly the kind of person that needs to know that none of my lines are faulty, you know, that, that I'm making everybody around me happy. That make sense? It does. It does make sense. Unfortunately, Desi, you're not going to get that assurance from me today. OK. OK. Can you expound on that? You're not going to get that assurance from me because I fucking hate you. Well, I totally get that we're from very different parts of the world. And I don't expect everybody here to fully understand my kind of Pacific Northwest thing. Your whole Boston vibe can be very abrasive. Okay. That's Daddy, this isn't about where you're from. OK. OK? Uh -huh. This isn't about geography. Uh -huh. This is about that distressed shirt you're wearing. This is about the fact that you have eyeliner on your face right now. This is about the fact that your musical sensibility is insufferable. Don't ever think that you get on stage anywhere where a vast majority of the crowd doesn't think douche. Douche. You know how you feel when you watch Imagine Dragons play? Well, that's how we feel about you. And you know what? Imagine Dragons are great, and you're the douche. You know, if we just take a minute and put our hearts together, you and me, right here, I think we'll both find that we're not really all that different. But we are different. We are very different, because I will never treat her like shit. Oh, Marnie? Yes, Marnie. Marnie Michaels. OK, now you're talking about my fiance, and I strongly suggest, Ray, that you proceed with caution. Yeah, I know she's your fiance. I also know that you absolutely do not deserve her, even remotely. You string her along for months, and now you've proposed to her in some desperate bid to make it seem like you're not the most selfish person in the Western fucking hemisphere. But you know what? Desi, I'm on to you. Marnie isn't some tool for you to stroke your ego with. She's a beautiful, fully formed woman, dazzling in her complexity, maddening in her mystery, and you underestimate her every fucking day. And because of that, you will never, ever make her truly happy, truly, deeply, fundamentally happy. You're gonna try and fuck up and try and fuck up again. And every time, she'll smile and take you back. Well, Thank you for that. Keep your fucking blood money.